I drew a lot of stars for you. Why? Because we're going to make use of these stars. I'm going to teach you a method called stars and bars. Okay? Now, students, if you look at question three, right, they want you to find some positive in the integers uh, where the sum of their digits is 10. So, I mean, of course, you can guess. You can go ahead and guess, right? From 1 until 2023, 20, you can make a list if you want. Um, you want to have sum of digit 10. 1, uh, 19, okay, 19. The number 19, you take 1 plus 9, you get 10. 28, 37, blah, 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 until 91. The sum of digits is 10 here. Then you want to continue to three digit numbers. Yeah, sure. Start from 100. 109, 118, 127, 136, all the way until 1. Uh, I think it will be 8-1. So all these have the sum of digits 10. Now, I tell you, it's going to take you forever to, to use the method of making a list to count all the digits from 1 to 2023 whose sums of digit whose sum of digits is 10. Right, students. So what we're going to do is this. Huh? We are going to make use of stars and bars. Why am I using stars and bars? Okay, look at these. Look at these 12 stars, okay? I want you to imagine that we have, we are, we can express a whole number, okay? We can express two digit and three digit whole numbers in terms of stars and bars. For example, uh, for example, I want you to, I want you to just pretend that these two are not here. Just pretend that we have 10 stars here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eight, yeah. Pretend that we have 10 stars here, students. I would like you to look at me draw two bars, okay? Now, I'm going to draw two bars between the stars. And this represents the number 325. Let me give you another example. If I draw, or maybe I don't need to give you an example. I test you. Everyone, I test you now. If I draw the if I draw the bars like that, what number am I trying to say? Can you type in the chat? <clears throat> mm, very good. 400. Okay, 400. There's four stars here. 415. Very good, students. Let me continue testing you. If I draw the bars here, <laughs> what number? What number am I trying to express if I draw the bars here like that? Very good. <laughs> very smart, very smart. Four, zero, six. Well done, students. Again, again, what if I draw the bar here? One bar here, another bar here. What number am I trying to express? Very good, 28. Because there's zero, zero stars here, zero stars here, two and eight. So actually, this is a two-digit number, yes or no? This is a two-digit number, zero, two, eight. Very good, students. I think you're getting the hang of it. And do you notice something about every single number that we are creating? Their sum of digit is 100% guaranteed to be 10. Correct? I don't care where I draw the bars. I don't care. No matter where I draw the two bars, you add up the sum of digits of the number, it's, it's 10. Why? Because you only have 10 stars. You can't get any other sum of digits. Agreed? So this is how we set the parameters of our experiment to make sure that our sum of digits is always 10. We are already fixing we are already putting ourselves in a position where it is impossible for us to get any other sum of digit besides 10. Okay, but there's uh, certain cases that you need to look out for. Uh, for example, if I draw the bar here. <laughs> what, what number is this? If I draw the two bars here, what number is this? Huh? 0, 0, 10. 
what, what kind of number is that? No such thing. No such number, no such number. Okay, because every if you have a three-digit number A B C, okay, the maximum value of each digit is nine. I mean, there's no such thing as 10. Right? You, you cannot say that this is 10 because it's a single digit here. Okay, so you, there's no such number. If I draw the two bars here, it's not allowed. Not allowed. If I draw at the end, two bars, okay, it's also not allowed because then there's 10 stars here already. There's no such thing as a, a single digit 10. Okay, the first digit, maximum, the maximum value of the first digit is always 9. Maximum value of any digit is 9. Not 10. Okay. Uh, what if I draw the bars here? Again, again, the middle digit. Okay, the first digit is the first digit is zero. First digit is zero. Second, the last digit is zero. The middle digit is 10. How can that be? Okay, the maximum is nine. So the middle digit cannot be the middle digit of a three-digit number cannot be 10. So there are three scenarios we need to look out for that you that is not allowed to happen. All right. Now, why am I drawing 12 stars? Huh? Why did I draw 12 stars? Okay, the reason why I draw 12 stars is because even though I need, I need 10 stars, but I want you to imagine that you're starting with 12, and out of the 12 stars, out of the 12 stars, we are going to choose two of the stars to become bars. Out of the 12 stars, we are choosing two stars to become bars. For example, if I choose this to become a bar, and I choose this to become a bar, I will still have 10 stars remaining. My sum of digit will still be 10. Just that this will become a bar, this will become a bar, and the number is 3, 4, sorry. Yeah, 3, 4, 3, 343. Sum of digit is still 10, understand? Anyone want to ask question about why am I having 12 stars? Anybody confused why am I drawing 12 stars? Raise your hand. Everyone know why I'm drawing 12 stars? Huh? Very good. So let's find the number of numbers from, okay, let's say from 0 or maybe from 1. Actually, we're starting with two-digit two digit numbers. So from 10 to Three digit number nine nine nine. From ten to nine nine nine, how many numbers will give us a sum of digits of, of ten? Out of twelve stars, I'm gonna choose two stars to be bars. But don't forget there are three situations that are not allowed. So I'm gonna remove those three scenarios. Okay. So the formula for twelve choose two. Okay, let me just write it down here. Whenever you have n choose r, you take n factorial divide by r factorial n minus r factorial. Remember what's a factorial? Uh, for example, 5 factorial equals to 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, right? Okay, so anyway, let's apply the formula and find how many numbers there are n factorial divided by r factorial n minus r factorial, then you minus 3. So 12 factorial is 12, 12 times 11 times 10 times 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Right? This will become 10 factorial. 10 factorial is 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 times 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So on top, you have 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. At the bottom, you got 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. They cancel each other out. What are you going to be left with on top? This is what you're left with on top. From number 10 onwards, it got cancelled out. And of course, you still have this remaining, which is 2 factorial. And don't forget to minus 3. So what are we getting? Uh, let's simplify, okay? Divide by 2, divide by 2. So you get 66 minus 3. 66 minus 3 is 63. So now we know that we have 63. 
over here. Just, just make more space, yeah? Okay, next, we are going to take a look at... Um, let, let me make more space. Okay, we are going to take a look at the numbers from 1,000. Okay, let me write it down from... 1,000 to 1,999. How many such numbers are there? Now, in this case, students, we can use the stars and bars again. However, do you notice something? Oh, wait, hold on. There's a question. Yes, Andrea, question. Um, I don't understand how you get 12 times 11. 12 times 11. Okay, let me ask you something. What is the meaning of 12 factorial? 12 times 11 times 12. Times right. 10. Sorry, 10 times 9 times 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, right? Yeah. What is 10 factorial? 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 times 6. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, right? I'm dividing them, yes or no? Yes. Divide, right? So when I divide, okay, let me draw a line. Divide. Do you notice that you cancel, cancel? 9 divided by 9 is 1, yes or no? Yeah. 10 divided by 10 is also 1, yes or no? Yeah. Uh, that's so the same goes for, same goes for 8, 8, 7, 7, 6, 6, 5, 5, 4, 4, 3, 3, 2, 2, 1, 1, yes or no? Yes. What are you left with? Oh. <laughs> eh? All right. Good that you are clarifying. So, students, when I want to choose the numbers from 1,000 to 1,999, oh wait, Talia. Yes, Talia, there's a question. The 10 factorial turns into a 1. Yes, 10 for that factorial becomes a 1 because everything is cancelled out. Very good. You're right. Oh. Yeah, 10 cancel 10, 9 cancel 9, 8 cancel 8. Yes, very good. So, let's take a look at 1,000 to 1,999. So, for this... Okay, what we're going to do is we already know that the first digit is going to be 1,000, right? So immediately, what am I going to do? I will take this star and I already know that this star is going to become a bar. I already know that there's going to be a bar here. Okay? So then the first digit is 1. Okay, 1,000, right? 1,000 and whatever. Okay? So let's take another, okay, let's just do some example. Okay, let's say this is another star. And let's say uh, this is another star. Okay, so let's just choose this to become a bar. And let's just choose this to become a bar. Hey, okay, sorry. Uh, we can't do this, uh, students. Do you know that now we need to add another star? Why do I need to add another star, students? Now I have 13 stars altogether, not 12. So out of these 13 stars, what happened? I will choose three of them to become bars. Okay, out of 13 stars, three of them become bars. Okay, let, let's just see how it looks like. One bar, I already drew one bar. Let me draw another bar. Let me draw another bar. So what number is this? 1,234. One, two, three, four. <laughs> so you add up to 10. The sum of digits is 10. Yes or no? Okay, let me just draw the bar somewhere else again. 1,000. Then let's say I draw another bar here. Sorry. I change this star into a bar. And I change the same, another star right beside it into a bar. Then what number am I, do I end up with? Can you type in the chat? What number am I having now? 1,000 what? Yes, well, very good. 1,400. This is zero. Eh? There's nothing in between the bar, so it's zero. And the last remaining, I have five stars at the back. So it's 1,405. And you realize that you add up the digits, you still get 10. Am I right? The sum of digits is still 10. So that's why I need to add another star. If I don't, if I don't add another star, what will happen? Let me, de let me erase the star. Then I will get 1,404. Then the sum of digits become nine. So the reason why <clears throat> the reason why I need to add another star is because I actually need to draw three bars. Instead of two bars, I need to draw three bars now because now we are dealing we are dealing with four digit numbers. 
So I need three bars so I can get a four-digit number. If I only have two bars, the maximum I can get is a three-digit number, right? So let me add another star. Then I out of 13 stars, I'm going to choose three of them to become bars. However, okay, you might think that our working is going to look something like this. 13 choose three. <clears throat> out of 13 stars, you choose three of them to become bars. You might think that it is like that. But guess what? If I really have 13 stars and I can choose any three of them to become bars, then why not I just choose these three? Then the bar will be here, bar will be here, bar will be here. Then I'll get 4,114. Am I allowed to get 4,000 students? No, I'm trying to get numbers from 1,000 to 1,999. So I cannot just take 13, choose 3, you know. I must fix the first bar. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to already fix that this is going to become a bar. So the number 1,000 is already fixed. So how many stars do I have left? I have 11 stars left. How many bars do I want to choose? Out of these 11, I need to choose two to become bars. So instead of 13 choose three, we are doing, oops, 11 choose two, okay? N, fa N factorial divided by R factorial, N minus R factorial. And you notice that uh, this becomes nine. So, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, it will get cancelled out. What are you going to be, what's going to be left on top? 11 and 10 is going to be left. 9, from 9 onwards, it's cancelled out, right? And of course, you still have your 2 factorial there. Okay? So we have, let's simplify this. Divide by 2, divide by 2, you get this. So 11 times 5 is 55. So now we already know <clears throat> uh, from 10 to 19, from 10 to 999, 1000 to 1999. Finally, we need to count from 2000 to 2023. Students, can you manually just count for me? How many numbers will give you a sum of digits of 10? Just type in the chat. Just manually count. Yes, very good. Okay, so uh, I can see that, that you, all, you all managed to find it. 2008, that's the first one. Then after that, 2017. After that, 2026. And guess what? You reject this because the question is asking for numbers up to 2023 only. Okay, so you reject that. That means you only have two options. So let's make some space now. Uh, I'm gonna make I'm gonna move away my stars. Okay, then everyone. What do we have? How many numbers do we have all together? This, this, plus the, those two. Okay. And we get 120 numbers. Any questions, students? So that's, your, that's stars and bars for you. Very useful to set the parameters of our exp experiment. Yes, Talia. 
Well, then from num one from numbers one thousand to one thousand nine hundred ninety nine, how do you get eleven? How do you get eleven and two? Uh huh. Let me ask you something, Talia. How many stars do I have over here, including the black, including the black star? Thirteen. Okay. Let's say I choose three of them to become bars. Let's just randomly choose one, two, three. Three of them become bars. How many stars do I have left? Um, 13 stars. 13 stars. 10. Three. Yes, three of them became bars, so that. What number am I representing by drawing it like this? 4114. 4114, yes. Do I get the sum of digits 10? Yeah. Is it possible to get any other sum of digits? No, it's not possible because you only have 10 stars left, right? Yeah. I mean, as long as three stars become bars, you only have 10 stars left. No matter how you try, you always get a sum of digits of 10, no matter where you draw your bars. Let's say I draw the bar here. One, two, three. What number am I representing? 2008. And is the sum of digits 10? Yeah. Yes, right? <clears throat> but Talia, can I ask you, what is this? From what? 1,000 to? 199. Nine. 9, right? So can I just can I just draw the, the bars anywhere I want? No. The first the first bar must always be here, right? Yeah. It must always be fixed here, right? Yeah. So I'm already fixing my first bar there. My first digit is one. That means one thousand something, right? Mm-hmm. Now let me ask you how many stars do I have left after I fix the first after I fix the first bar? How many stars do I have left? Um uh, eleven. And out of these 11, how many do I want to change into bars? Two. Two. Do you see why it is 11 choose two? Oh. There you go. Very good, Talia. It's nice to clarify, right? So now you get it? All right. Students, guess what? It's very useful, stars and bars. It can also be, solved, be used to solve this question. Can I give you 30 seconds to think about how you would like to use stars and bars to solve this? Then if you have any ideas, just raise your hand. Now, students, every single star represents a cookie. Okay? Now, if you want to do it the, the long way, then you, of course you'll be doing this. Like he, you know, for example, he eats one cookie every day. And then for a total of 12 days, then he finished all his cookies in 12 days. Or maybe he eats one cookie every day until, until you reach 10 cookies. And on the last day, he eats two cookies. So then he finishes the cookies in 11 days. Then after that, you have to continue writing. Right? All the way down until... Of course, there will be, a, there will be an option. There will be a scenario where he just eats all the 12 cookies in one day and finish everything. Or there can be other scenarios like he eats two cookies on the first day, then one cookie, then two cookies, then one cookie, then two cookies, then one, until he reaches 12, right? Or maybe he eats three cookies and then two cookies and then three cookies and then two cookies and then one and then one. I mean, there can be so many ways, you know. So imagine if you are going to make a list. I think you'll take forever, right? And you might not even get the correct answer. So what can we do, students? These 12 stars represent the 12 cookies. And if you notice, right, there are 11 intervals between the cookies. So let me use my bars in this manner. If I were to draw a bar here, what does it mean? It means that he eats three cookies on day one. Then he will eat the remaining cookies on day two. Okay, that is one way to look at it. If I were to draw two bars, that means he's going to eat three cookies on day one, two cookies on day two, and seven cookies on day three. Now, of course, if I draw the bars like this, then he's going to eat one cookie every day for 12 days 
until he finishes all the cookies. Okay, students? There can be so many ways to draw my bars, which represents the multiple ways he can eat, finish his cookies. So let us logify things. Imagine that every single bar here is, has the ability to decide for himself. Every single bar here will be deciding for himself whether or not to appear. So for example, let's say all the bars decided to appear except for this guy. He said that today I'm very lazy. I'd rather go to sleep. I don't want to appear. Okay, fine. Delete. Gone. So what does this mean? This means that he's eating one cookie every day, except for on this day, he's eating two cookies. And then for the rest of the days, he's continuing to eat one cookie every day. Then let's say, let's say this guy, oops. <laughs> uh, let's say this guy, he tells himself that, okay, I don't feel like appearing today. I'm going to disappear. Poof. Yeah, very easy. It simply means that Mark is going to eat one cookie on the first day, two cookies on the second day, and then so on and so forth. So if we just imagine that every single one of these bars, these 11 bars, has the ability to make a decision to appear or not to appear, to be or not to be, then we can solve this question. How many choices does this guy have? This bar has two choices. Two choices, to appear or not to appear. This bar also has two choices, to appear or not to appear. So students, the number of ways he can finish his cookies is to appear or not to appear, the other bar, to appear or not to appear? To appear or not to appear. So how many tools do you have? 11. And the answer is 2,048. Can you imagine making a list with 2,048 different ways? It's impossible. Right? Anyone have any questions about the concept here? Anyone wants to, to ask anything? Yes, Talia. How'd you get two? Oh, because there's two options. So imagine you are, okay, imagine you are a bar. Mm -hmm. You can decide to appear or not to appear. How many options is that? Two options. Yeah, correct. Can you decide, oh. you decide to half appear? No. If, if you can decide to, uh, to appear, to appear fully or to half appear, then you have three options, right? Mm -hmm. But now you're only given two options. You want to come or you don't want to come. Either to be or not to be. So it's just two options. That's it. Okay. Very good. And one more thing I would like to point out. You are using the intervals, huh? There are 11 intervals. That's why I have 11 to the power of 11. I have 11 uh, bars. I cannot have 13 bars, you know. If I, if I draw the bar here and I draw the bar here, it's not allowed. It's not allowed. Can anyone tell me why I'm not allowed to draw a bar here? Why must I draw in between the stars? Why can't I draw it before the stars? Can anyone tell me why? Yes, Kaden. Then you'll be a triple digit. What triple digit? Oh, like, like if you put it like at the back, right? Then you'll become three. I mean, um, well, we're not talking about numbers here. We're talking about cookies. If I draw a bar like that, okay, let's say I draw a bar like that. That means he's eating zero cookies on this day. Then he will be eating one cookie, one. But cookie. it's because he he says because the person says he eats at least one cookie. But very good. You must eat at least one cookie per day. Well done, Kaden. That's the answer. Okay, good. So students, the only reason why you cannot draw the bus is because you need to have at least one cookie per day. He's not allowed to eat zero. He must eat at least one cookie per day. 
And that's also the same reason why you cannot draw two bars inside the same interval. It cannot be like this. That means you're eating five cookies on this day. Then on the second day, you skip. You take a break. I'm not going to eat any cookies. Then after that, you finish the other seven. You're not allowed to do that. Okay, and that's why you cannot draw multiple bars also like, like this. Uh, that means on this day, day number one, I eat five cookies. Then I eat zero cookies, zero cookies, zero cookies. And then after that, I eat the remaining seven. So you can't do this as well. Okay, that's why the question says that you must eat at least one cookie per day. 